Greetings, it's me, Carrie Crystal Moonrise, and welcome to this episode of Carrie's Quick Tarot. So, we're going to find out what's going on in the energy today. Okay, and this video is sponsored by LegacyKeyLeaf.com, your one-stop shop for your spiritual intention supplies, like sage spray, <laughs> or Palo Santo spray, that's actually what this is and um, your incense and crystals and crystal jewelry and copper jewelry. I actually make log jewelry and stuff now too. So, and all kinds of things that help you feel relaxed, chill, high vibing and grounded. So, if you're into that type of thing, visit my shop. Make sure you'll find something that can help you release all kinds of things. All right, so let's get started. Let's find out what is going on. But the energy in this message is timeless. So whenever you see this message, if it resonates for you, then it resonates for you. Okay, and it's also for entertainment purposes only. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay? Some people look at this as entertainment. And some people don't. So, whichever uh, side of the fence you happen to be on that, good for you. Alright, so, let's see. Source, higher self, Holy Spirit guides, angels of the highest vibrations, and ancestors who love me. What is a message for now, for this now moment, when whoever is tuning into this actually uh, gets to see it? Thank you so much. Let's see source of self, Holy Spirit guides, angels of the highest vibrations, and ancestors who love me. Thank you. Thank you. And let me turn the camera a little so you can kind of see. like share comment subscribe all that fun social stuff and perhaps there's nothing that i'm supposed to pull from today in the tarot i do have um, my oracle card Oops. my oracle card deck so perhaps i'm supposed to pull uh, an oracle all right i got a couple of cards that came out just when i was about to put it away so <laughs> so let's see what is the message Thank you. All right, let's put these cards over. Okay. We'll see them together. This is the High Priestess card. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, so this is the High Priestess card. High Priestess is someone that is um, extremely intuitive, someone that is, um, sometimes this card is um, references um, a water sign, like such as a Pisces. Um, but someone who's highly intuitive and is, um, you know, loving, kind. I didn't bring my book. Sometimes I like reading from the book because sometimes the adjectives from the book um, are just more, you know, direct. Uh, but High Priestess, someone who's very extremely intuitive. So, and then we have this uh, Knight of Pentacles. So, Knight are messengers okay and so this is actually the slowest card in the deck it's referred to okay so there's someone who wants to offer something to the high priestess energy so if you resonate with that energy um, someone wants to offer this high priestess energy um, something tangible it's not a lot but it's something someone wants to offer something to the high priestess and uh, perhaps because they're they're not uh, feeling so good, whatever might be going on in their situation, uh, they're not 
uh, feeling so good. They were kind of feeling like they missed out on something, um, emotionally a little unfulfilled, and trying to figure out how to move forward. Um, but they want to offer something to the high priestess. Okay? The question becomes, why do they want to offer something to the high priestess? Does something happen that uh, they feel that they need to offer something to the high priestess? Energy that resonates with you. And then we have this card here, the Seven of Cups, okay? So this is options, okay? When I see this card. Um, so perhaps this high priestess energy has a lot of options, right? And so... Perhaps this Knight of Pentacles, perhaps whoever this individual is that's feeling this unfulfillment in their emotions, wants to offer the High Priestess energy uh, something because they know that the High Priestess energy um, has a lot of options. So they want to insert themselves somehow in the mix of uh, before the options perhaps are presented um yeah let's see now i'm curious now i kind of want to find out a little bit more so let's see all right source higher self holy spirit guides angels of the highest vibrations so okay so if there's someone who's highly intuitive and someone wants to offer this highly intuitive person something because they're feeling a little bit um, bad about something or they're feeling a loss of something emotional they're feeling some type of an emotional loss and they know that this high priestess energy this intuitive person has a lot of options so then what is going on that they want to offer something to the high priestess energy thank you what is going on why why do they want to offer something to the high priestess energy what happened okay this has to do with willpower there's the willpower the chariot this is something that's kind of forging ahead moving forward um using your willpower in order to get something accomplished uh okay so that still that doesn't answer the what happened or the why but we know that there's some willpower so perhaps this energy really wants to insert themselves using their willpower to offer something to this high priestess energy you know knowing that this high priestess energy has a lot of options they want to insert their willpower okay why source higher self holy spirit guides Angels of the highest vibration, ancestors who love me. Okay. A couple of cards. This came out face down. I'll take a look at it though. This is a page of wands. So page. This is like a um, new energy. So someone who is looking to kind of maybe do something a little differently. Being a little bit new at a passion not quite sure where this where that's fitting in okay let's okay so the why would be because there's a lot of options okay this this is the wheel of fortune card meaning that this high priestess energy can can create and manifest whatever it is that uh, this energy would like so the question still is why does this knight of pentacles energy want to insert themselves right into the picture when the high priestess energy has a lot of options this person's not feeling so great about that they're not feeling so great about the high priestess having options so they want to insert themselves with this offering they really want to insert their willpower to do it. They want to, this card here, I'm, I'm gonna need some clarification, but when I see this card, it seems that they want to try a new approach because they know that something big is coming in for this high priestess energy. So here, 
this kind of gives an, an idea of the intention. When you look at this card here, right? This looks like someone is winning, right? Winning something. So it seems that when I see this with this particular storyline, it seems like the why is because they want to uh, walk away with whatever it is that's coming in for this high priestess energy. So it seems that they want to be a bit deceptive. Or is it that this high priestess energy won something? So now they want to collaborate. And then there's this hangman. So they're waiting. Waiting for what? A response? Is there perhaps someone in your energy that um, is feeling... Ooh. That's a no. My balance bell just fell to the ground. Granted, you know, it's not on the most stable surface, but the fact that it just fell on the ground when I said that to me is saying no. No. There's no waiting for this high priestess energy. Okay, so let me let me back it up. Let me, let me just, okay, and then bottom of the deck star. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Okay, so perhaps you resonate as being this high priestess energy, right? Someone who is um, creative, someone who is highly intuitive, and someone who is balanced, okay? And perhaps there's someone that uh, is looking to come into your energy to offer you something. Um, it took them a long time, a, a, a while to get it to you, but they wanna offer you something because they're feeling a little bit um, saddened about how to move forward. because they see you have a lot of options and that um, there's some willpower that's being um, utilized. So perhaps you're using your willpower to really push through and, and create whatever it is that you are looking to create for yourself, but there's some willpower. So their willpower to try to get, uh, a, get this, uh, get you to, um, Wow. Basically, they want they want you to they want you to wait. They don't they don't want you to create anything without them. They want to uh, be a part of whatever it is that you're doing. That's why they want to offer you something. Okay. So perhaps you won something, right? Perhaps you won a situation one take it how it resonates right perhaps you were successful in a particular area where it enabled you to be in a position to have a lot of options in a situation that uh, landed you um, so many options that it's kind of like a you can have whatever you like type of a situation what are you going to create as this intuitive creative individual right this star energy so they want they want to be part of it whoever this energy is that's not feeling so good they want to be part of whatever is coming in for you these options that you have coming in for yourself they want to be a part of it because they're feeling really bad because perhaps they did something that um, landed them in a position to feel this way I can pull more cards to find out what that is but take it how it resonates okay it's getting dark and I have to get going um, so anyway I know how this resonates for me 
personally speaking with, with certain situations that are going on in my world. Um, but take, how, take it how it resonates for you. For me, with my balance bell falling on the floor, it's a no. No, there is, there is no waiting for a collaboration with someone who's not feeling so great that they did something that landed them in a position to want to now all of a sudden give to you because they see you have a lot of options and you're using your willpower um, to create what you can in order to get whatever um, the universe has for you. Because you are a star energy, I wouldn't trust this energy here. Someone who's saying that they want to start over. This seems a little bit shysty to me. Right? Any of you out there who are exercising your intuition for whatever situation it is that you might be going through that resonates with you, this message, how does it feel to you? Go with how it feels. Right? Kind of figure out what that means for you. Because the next card that I see here... <laughs> is someone who is emotionally unavailable. So someone who is emotionally unavailable, yeah, because they're going through something. Whoever this energy is here, is emotionally unavailable to you as a star energy, high priestess, Highly intuitive. You're feeling a lot of pain about whatever it is that has gone on that um, has them at this point wanting to collaborate with you. They're feeling terrible because you're sitting as the high priestess it's also a queen of cups energy and that's someone who's loving kind caring and they're trying to figure out how to get their money up well it's not going to be well it could be whatever you want it to be however it resonates but it doesn't have to be where they collaborate with you it doesn't have to be where you pause or wait for anything pertaining to them just because they're emotionally distraught about something. Yeah. I'm done. I'm bored with this message forward with it because it just seems that someone um, in the energy is, is, is just a bit obsessed with trying to take what's yours if this message resonates with you what's yours Happiness, happy life, happy family. Right? Someone just is not able to be happy for you. So they want to just use their willpower and, and insert themselves into your situation. Seems a bit selfish to me. Because, again, what is in it for you? We see what's in it for them. They want a situation with you. But how does that how does that work for you? This card came out right after that. 
<laughs> Seems like that wouldn't work out so well for you. Right? They'd be happy. I'm gonna go. As you can see, it's gotten quite dark out here. So I need to uh, get to moving. But the balance bell fell. So weigh this out for yourself to see if it's a balanced situation. If it's something that's going to take you out of balance, why would you risk that? Why? What's in it for you? Getting out of balance? It doesn't seem like a, a good exchange of energy. But do you do what works for your situation? I'm Carrie Crystal Moonrise. Thank you so much for spending this 20-something minutes with me. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun social stuff. And until next time.